There's a guy named Nick and a guy named Jim. I don't really want to listen to them, but I got stuck. I got stuck. Couple of badasses. Nick likes to really talk about his wife. Jim is afraid of everything in life, but put 'em both together and they're sharp as a knife on their podcast. Their podcast, American Badass Podcast. All right, American Badass Podcast. Nick and Jim back with you for your one-hour weekly bullshit session. Let's get right into it. Leave us a fucking review, please, God, for the love of God. <laughs> Leave us a review. We want reviews. We love reviews. Please. Oh, wow. You know what's <laughs> funny? I completely forgot about that. <laughs> and you know what's even funnier, and it's almost ironic at this point, is the fact that I was actually going to take a couple minutes and completely apologize for last week's episode because it was just really shitty. It really and now was. Here you are, here you are, screaming fucking leave a review, people. <laughs> Two seconds in, <laughs> I guess it works. <laughs> our our episode last week was absolute dog shit. Um, I was feeling under the weather. Just it was thrown together. It was really bad. Um, but that being said, we did have somebody reach out to us on uh, Facebook because they couldn't um, leave a review where they normally listen, which is uh, FM Player, I think. So um, I wanted to just take a minute and um, read this uh, this uh, post to our Facebook page because it's, it's awesome. I mean, it brings tears to my eyes. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> And it's from our first fan overseas from the... Well, I'll just read it and uh, you'll get it. <laughs> uh, from Moataz Seda. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sure uh, you're not. <laughs> I'm positive I'm not, but whatever. <laughs> he can go fuck himself. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes our friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he says, I'm listening to your bullshit podcast from a horseshit country called Egypt on stupid Android shit app called Player FM, which is better than Stitcher. I couldn't leave you a review there, which I don't know why, but I just want to say you're my number one favorite podcast on the web. Never stop this awesome show, and thank you for teaching me the beautiful English full of shit, craps, and fucks. <laughs> Always remember me, your first fan overseas. I'll keep following, and that's it. Thank you so much. If you do want us to read your bullshit review... We will do that. Just let us know where you leave it or contact or reach out to us on Facebook directly and we'll go ahead and uh, read whatever you want us to read. <laughs> doesn't matter what it is. You can, you can ask your wife for a divorce and you want us to break it to her. Go ahead. Let oh, us know. please, 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 please do that. <laughs> I would love to fucking tell some woman that the, her husband wants a divorce. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and like hit us up, like say you have cancer and you're dying and you want to tell your loved ones. I'll do that too. I'll do yeah, anything like that. Anything like it. that. Yeah, let us know. And we will do it. Hell yeah, dude. I, when I first started reading that, uh, that I, I, I thought it was a joke at first. And then I read through it and the first couple lines I'm like, who the fuck is this guy talking to? I mean, he's calling us bullshit, and he, he's fucking basically telling us we suck. I mean, what the fuck, man? And then I get to the end, I'm like, all right, I fucking love this guy. I want to have him over house my fucking dinner. Let him have sex with my wife or something. I love this yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, I definitely, I was worried that we offended somebody, because we're not too nice to the Middle Eastern folks. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but uh, but it, 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 it was fucking beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It was great. I, I, I still think it's you doing it. Like I still it's, think you created this account like 10 years ago, and you were just hoping to use it one day, and now you've used it. No, honestly, it is not me, I swear. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't take pictures of the same people in different Egyptian <laughs> uh, places. <laughs> Fucking Egypt of all places. Yeah. Like, that 
that fucking blows my mind. Right? Th- this some bitch is staring at pyramids and all this fucking awesome history and whatnot, and he's listening to these two fucking idiots, you know, curse and talk about their dicks and how fat they are and people we hate. I mean, <laughs> how fucking boring is Egypt that he's a fan of ours? Right. They're literally, they literally were killing people in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> and he's listening to us like come on go outside and watch murder like that's right. way better than what we're doing here he can have his own fucking podcast about the murdering in the streets it'll still right. be better at ours right we'll be his fucking number one fan yeah oh no shit man yeah no, that that definitely hit me in a good spot man i was so happy to read that i thought it was great um, and then, you know, it kind of said me all at the same time because I keep thinking to myself, this motherfucker is in basically a third world country out in fucking Egypt, out in the Middle East, dirt all around him, people dying left and right. And he had, he takes the time to hit us up on Facebook and leave us a fucking review. Not only does he leave us a review, but he, he could have given up after he couldn't leave a review on Stitcher. Mm-hmm. He could have given up after he couldn't do it over on this, uh, over on the other platform. Yep. He could have given up in a second, but no, he kept on going and pushing and trying to find a way to, to leave a review. Right. And you motherfuckers in America, fucking America, where you have internet access 24 fucking 7, phones, laptops, desktops, fucking iPads, fucking tablets, go to the fucking library, use a computer, any which way you can fucking leave a review, and you motherfuckers can't leave a review. This motherfucker is probably starving to death, getting shot at on a daily fucking basis, and he leaves a fucking review. You all should be ashamed of yourselves. I will say this. Looking at his pictures, Egypt looks pretty nice. <laughs> it does look pretty fucking nice, man. <laughs> it's sunny. Like, people look friendly. Except there was for... way more vegetation there than I thought there was. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. But I think it's people like him that are going to, like, totally liberate Egypt. (laughs) (laughs) With our podcast. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) We will be the cause of the liberation, the full liberation of Egypt. And yet, people over here can't fucking click a mouse button three times to get to a review page. (laughs) Motherfuckers can't even click the little thumbs up on Facebook. (laughs) No, right! Shit! I would read oh, this post, oh but God. my eyeballs are getting too tired. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. Just... <laughs> I need a candy oh, bar for my God. eyeballs. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, so funny, man. Oh, my God. So, uh, speaking of Facebook and social media, yeah. so... You messaged me the other day about this new app that is fucking going crazy right now called Meerkat. Meerkat, yes. Now, you and I talked, yeah, you and I talked about it for a little while and whatnot. So when I started doing research on it, I was like, well, obviously we can't do Meerkat because it's only available on uh, Apple right now or right. iPhone or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. Um, I don't, I just, I kind of don't get it. Like, I, I've read, I've looked through the videos, I've done all the research on it and whatnot. I don't get why this is so prevalent. Um, you know, first of all, why, why don't you fill us in a little bit on what Meerkat actually is, for those who right. don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meerkat is basically an on-demand video, live video stream, video blogging, whatever you want to... I mean, there's people just taking videos of themselves walking down the street or fucking cleaning their kitchen or whatever at, at this point. But um, the... Where it became big, where it really caught on was um, the South by Southwest Fest Festival, which happened, I think it ended last week, or it might still be going on now, I don't know. But, All right. Um, but people were meerkatting performances in one bar, and people in another bar were able to see it, so if they would rather go there, they would just, you know, travel to that bar rather than the shitty performance they're watching in there, but whatever. But, um, but the whole idea is to shoot live video, Post it to Twitter using the hashtag Meerkat. Um, It's all hosted through Meerkat's app. And um, you don't need the app to watch the video, but you need the app to record video. So 
Um, yeah, that's basically it. It's just live broadcasting video, which is, uh, it's been done before, but for some reason people like this one. I think it's because of their logo. Like they like a cute logo. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's our problem with the podcast. Our logo isn't cute enough. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh god, I don't know, dude. Like, once I realized that I, I couldn't do anything with Meerkat other than watch the videos, I started, yep. you know, researching other live broadcast, live streaming apps, and yep. I found this other app called You Now. Yep. And it, it's it's like. How do I put this? It's basically like the perfect place for pedophiles to go and watch little kids. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like, it's so fucking creepy. Right. I went on there for like an hour. Like, I'm ashamed to even say it was an hour, but I was on there for an hour just flipping through videos, trying to, you know, get a grasp on what this whole fucking thing was about. And it was just nothing but fucking preteens on there, <laughs> fucking talking about their life and dancing and, you know, just playing around. Uh, yeah. one girl kept laying out her fucking clothes and shit. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? And that's all I kept thinking about. And like, the funny thing was is that up in the corner, it like tells you how many people are watching the same feed you are. And I mean, there's just this girl literally sitting Indian style on her fucking, looks like bedroom floor. Uh, they all, it only shows her like maybe up to her neck. You really don't see her head at all. And she's just sitting there and she it looks like she's playing with her phone. 15 fucking minutes. That, that's what she does. There's right. no sound, doesn't do anything, whatever. There's like 500 fucking people watching this. Right. I'm like, what? Why? Like, what do you think is gonna happen? Is she automatically gonna fucking spring up and start fucking dancing? Like, what? What do you expect out of this? It makes no fucking sense. I fucked around with it the other day. Was it yesterday? I don't, I don't remember what fucking day it was. That was yesterday before yesterday. I, uh, I drove Tina to the store. And I was sitting in my car, and I was, like, fucking hanging out, and I was kind of bored. So I fucking – I pulled out that little thing, and I was looking at it, and I started to broadcast myself. And I literally just sat there in the car and made fun of people who were walking by me the whole time. I right. did it for about eight minutes or so. Okay. I had, like, 20 people watching me and commenting the whole time, like, interacting with me this this whole fucking broadcast. Right. I just kept thinking to myself, how fucking bored are you people that you're going to watch some fucking fat guy sit in his car and make fun of other people as they walk past? Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, you sent me that link, and I, as well, went on there and watched these other junior broadcasters, we'll call them. <laughs> <laughs> and it got to a point where I was watching a 12-year-old, like, shake her ass in front of the camera to, like, a Taylor Swift song. And I and I messaged you. I'm like, dude, I'm feeling creepy. I'm out. Like, I can't creepy, do this. man. I can't do this anymore. Like, it's just <laughs> disgusting. But, <laughs> but, uh, but maybe that's the service uh, we should try out for this show. So Some, maybe somehow. you know, like, I, I, I think there's something there. I, I mean, as somebody who wants this podcast to grow, I want to exploit the fuck out of it. Yeah. But yeah, I just don't know how to do it to not feel so like creepy and dirty. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Like the whole thing is it's it's strange to me, but I definitely want to do it. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, I, I, I talked to you about um uh just fucking broadcasting my drives to and from work or, you know, just driving anywhere for that matter. Because I have obscene obscene amount of road rage. Right. And I get like pissed off and start screaming obscenities at people and I'm told it's fucking hysterical. I don't okay. find it hysterical because I'm pretty sure my heart's going to explode out of my fucking <laughs> chest, but, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, oh, God. I, you know what my problem is? I should have never watched any of the videos. <laughs> I would yeah. be fine with this if I didn't see all these little kids on there doing this stuff. And I'm like, this is just weird. Right. Now, I will say, when I when I went to go do my own little broadcast, right before I did it, I was looking at the videos. I did see, uh, I think I scrolled through, like, maybe 15 adults on there. Okay. So it made me feel a little bit better, but I don't know. I'm still always going to think about a little 12 year old shaking her ass in the camera. <laughs> I'm really thinking that you now service might become bigger because of all the Android users that can't use Mere, Meerkat. You, you're probably right. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe, uh, you know, more than half the cell phone users, I think, now are on Android devices. So, um, 
maybe you now or maybe Meerkat will catch up and start pumping out an Android device, but or an app rather. So, but it's it's fun either way. It's fun to do. I'd I'd much rather broadcast on Meerkat because at least there's adults on there. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> one one thing I do want to say about Meerkat, I tweeted this last night, is people's houses are fucking disgusting. Like they're gross. Oh, I know. Yeah. And they're not afraid of, like, to why? show it. I don't know. No, they're not. They're, like, proud of it. Right. One lady was, like, meerkatting. Oh, it's fucking nasty. She, I, oh. she was following her dog around, right, with this, with her phone. And, like, you see, like, clothes everywhere, fucking, like, food on the floor. Like, what the f- Like, lady, clean up your goddamn house before you do that shit. Like, don't get me wrong. My house isn't fucking spotless by any means. I mean, right. you know, Tina and I keep the house for all. I shouldn't say Tina and I. Tina keeps the house pretty clean. But I mean, like, our coffee table, for one, there's always crap on it. You know, fucking a couple dirty dishes or whatever, or, you know, fucking miscellaneous papers, whatever there is. But there's always something on the table, right? But, like, there's been a few times where I've gone to, like, take a picture of something on the table itself, you know, like, uh, Maybe something I'm selling on eBay or something, whatever it is. I will go to like lengths to clear off as much of the table as I can mm-hmm. and not include all the shit on the table. Right. Because it's like, oh, you're fucking trying to sell something, you're just going to post a picture to Facebook, whatever you're doing. Why let the fucking world see that right now you're sitting at a table that's fucking covered in filth? Right. Right. Makes no sense to me. It's like you've got a half eaten peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the background. <laughs> Right, <laughs> like dog biscuits up, like in the open for for no reason. <laughs> it's just, just sitting there. <laughs> Maybe an apple core. <laughs> <laughs> Miscellaneous flies just everywhere. <laughs> right, <laughs> I mean, come on. It's just it's that shit, and we all have these things. I'm not. I'm not even gonna say and pretend like we don't all have these things. Yeah. But it's stupid to fucking just broadcast it all over the place. If I broadcasted that shit, I would be in the doghouse with my wife for weeks. Right? And it doesn't, like, it's not even people that we know that, like, we haven't seen in a long time now know how we live. It's complete strangers. But she would, oh, I wouldn't get any sex for, like, two weeks. (laughs) Tina will, oh, God, man. When we when we lived in Boca and we actually liked our place and we had people over and whatnot, mm-hmm. every time um, somebody was going to come over, like say RJ was going to come over and pick me up or something like that, Tina would threaten me and tell me, you know, make sure you vacuum, make sure you do this, make sure you do that. I'm like, it's fucking RJ. Right. I mean, he's not going to care. I mean, I'm, and again, I'm not even talking about walking to like a fucking pigsty, you know, just maybe, you know, my fucking shirt is laying on the back of the couch or something, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, make sure you put that away. I'm like... It's it's fucking like family coming over. Who right. gi- who gives a shit? Right. And she was a nut about that stuff, man. She still is. Yeah, Ashley is the same way with like Phil and Beth live like two doors down. Like they know we have kids. <laughs> they know, they know that she runs a daycare from home. Still, right. we have to clean up. We like they're guests, so we have to clean up. And it's like, but it's like Phil. Like, <laughs> 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 like not to say like I don't care. <laughs> But, you know. no, the, the, the way you just said that, it was like, have you seen Phil's house? <laughs> Phil's house is way more fucked up than this house. Not at all. Not at all. But, but like, it, like he's seen us at our worst. Let's put it that right. way. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Meerkatters, yeah, just, clean up your fucking house. Seriously, clean up your fucking house, man. And yeah. put some fucking clothes on. I saw some of those videos where, you know, the guy is sitting there with his shirt all off, you know, trying to look all cool and shit. Put your fucking clothes on, you douchebag. I yeah. hate that shit. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a time to pick up chicks. It's not that kind of an app. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe we're doing the app wrong. I don't know. Hmm. The chicks aren't there to pick up guys, I'll tell you that much. No, definitely not. No. <laughs> definitely they, not. Have a coffee with me. And it's literally like them fucking drinking coffee like a slob. Like <laughs> slurping. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> you're a fucking lady. <laughs> Even though you're not with a guy, there's 15 watchers and they're probably all dudes with their penis out. The least you can do <laughs> is not be a fucking pig. How? Okay, let me ask you this. 
how soon before Meerkat turns into like fucking uh, what is that other thing? Uh, chat roulette, where uh, um, you know, all it is, is you you fucking flip through and you see a dick like every other fucking screenshot or whatever. I think that's already starting. Really, you think yeah. so? Yeah. I mean, again, I, I don't know much about Meerkat itself, but I mean, yeah. I, I figure it's only a matter of time. But it's like fucking Snapchat. I mean, let's be honest. Snapchat was made for people to fucking send dick pics and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's another app that got huge because they have a cute logo. Oh, yeah, no shit, the little ghost. Yeah. That's kind of racist, though. It's a white ghost. Yeah. It feels racist. Right. Yeah. Snapchat is racist. racist. Snapchat is definitely racist. Yeah. All right. So, I had uh, a little run-in with Comcast yesterday. Okay. So, I thought I'd, I'd bring that up. Yeah. Dude, they're fucking, they're just scummy. Like, I really hate talking to them. I now don't even bother calling them. What I do is I go online and do the uh, the fucking chat with them. Yep. So I, I don't have to talk to anybody. And if I get pissed off, I just click the little X button and it's over with. Yep. So I've been having issues with my internet for like the last like month or so. And uh, I think it's just because the modem I have is, is old and it can't keep up with the internet speeds that I'm paying for. Right. So I, uh, I did a little research, and I found out that the firmware on it hasn't been updated in quite some time. So, like, you know, fuck it. I was like, I, I get on the line with them. I was like, hey, you know, could you guys send me out a new modem? I know the one I had is old, and it's not capable of putting up with the speeds that I have now. So, you know, I need a new one. Oh, not a problem. We'll send you out a new one right away. It'll take about two or three days. I'm like, holy shit, this is going by so fast. It's awesome. I'm going to be out of here in two seconds. Next thing you know, she goes, Hey, did you know for only $10 more a month, you can get a whole nother package and get more TV channels um, and also a voice line? I was like, well, considering I'm getting ready to disconnect my TV in about another month anyway, I don't care about more channels. And I haven't owned a landline in fucking, Jesus, man, like six or seven years. I was like, so yeah, I definitely don't need a landline. So she goes, oh, but, you know, it's only $10 extra, you know, that's not too bad. And, oh, let me just tell you all the great things about it. So she types out, like, this fucking paragraph, but all the the great features that come with, like, a landline and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, look, I don't even own a phone to plug into a landline. I don't want a landline. I've never wanted a landline. I'm done with it. So then she says, well, maybe you want to talk to your wife about it. What the (laughs) fuck? Why the fuck would I want to talk to my wife about this? I was like, motherfucker, I do not want a landline. My wife does not want a fucking landline. Oh, well, is your wife there? Maybe maybe you guys could call in and we could talk on the phone. It'd be easier for me to you know, explain these things to you. I, I just, at one point, I literally typed in and said, could we please just fucking send out my modem and be done with this whole thing? Mm-hmm. And I keep like, I, I'm just waiting for her to finally tell me that... The order has been processed, so I can just click the fucking X button and close out the goddamn chat. Right. But she won't do it. She keeps fucking, like, holding it on and whatnot. So then she keeps, she tells me all about this modem I'm going to get. You know, super fast. It comes with, you know, uh, the wireless adapter on it, so it's all Wi-Fi already. You don't need a, a wireless router at all. It, it's uh, the fastest one they have. It's the newest one they have, blah, blah, blah. So then I finally just say, fuck it. I'm telling you right now, the answer is no, I do not want a landline. Never have wanted one. Never will want one. End of story. I want to keep my plan exactly the way it is. All I want is a new modem. Yeah. She goes, okay, well, give me one second while I update your account with this. She's gone. Doesn't type anything in for a good 10 minutes. Wow. Like, solid 10 minutes. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, what the fuck? So, it finally comes back in, and this bitch goes... Oh, well, you know, I was just looking at it, and unfortunately, the modem I was going to send you is only available on the triple play with a voice service. I was like, you fucking bitch. I was like, what the fuck? So, it's like, so you just told me all this stuff about this new modem, knowing that I can't have this modem. Right. And she goes, oh, well, you know, it was, it was my fault. I thought that you would want to get the voice line, so I was going to show you this modem. And just, oh, I was so pissed off. Like, right. I'm so tired of calling Comcast or contacting Comcast for anything and having them fucking spend an hour trying to sell me shit. Right. I, I can't I can't fucking do it anymore. I I really wish there was a better alternative to internet around here because I would fucking grab it up in a heartbeat. Yeah. Um, I'm a former employee of Time Warner Cable and their call center. And uh, Time Warner Cable has very much the same policy 
you know, you sell to everybody that you talk to, no matter what, basically, is the way that their policy goes. And um, I quit the job basically because I was get, like, they switched me to a new team leader, quote unquote. And right. she and she was writing me up for policy violation after policy violation after, you know, and it's all because I wasn't pushing enough product. Like somebody would call in and say, "Hey, I need, um, I need internet and cable hooked up. I'm just moving in." I'm like, "All right, great, get it all set up," and that counts as a sale for me, which is great. But oh, you didn't mention the phone. Or if I did mention the phone, you didn't mention it enough. And it's like, come come on. Like, the people called in. It's a lay-down order. Like, I'm going to get credit for two sales or three sales or whatever. Like, just fucking just let me move on to the next person. But, like, even, even the ones that would call in and say, you know, hey, I need tech support, but there was a long hold there, so I hit the sales line. And right. It's like, okay. Well, obviously, you don't want to be sold anything. Like, you're having problems with your service. So why am I going to try to sell you a bullshit phone service? So I would just transfer them back over to, to text support. But they're like, uh-uh, everybody you talk to, you got to sell them something. It's like, fuck you. I hate that, man. Like, nobody likes it. Like, that's why people hate calling in. Because they're always being hassled. Like, they think, they think that shit works. But as soon as a better option comes along, they switch away from fucking cable. Absolutely. That that's why like I said I the only reason I have cable right now is to watch Bulls games. That's yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I, I was so close to not having it at all. Like I, I usually just get League Pass and it's you know, it's like a hundred and I don't know, like hundred and fifty bucks for the season and that's perfect. But yeah. I, I think I mentioned this before that the Bulls had so many games that were on T V that all the games of League Pass are going to be blacked out anyway, so I'm going to be able to watch them. So I was like, right. well, fuck it, man. I, I might as well just, you know, get cable for the next, like, five months and, you know, be done with it and shit. But I, I hate it. I hate having cable so much. And I just, I fucking despise Comcast. I'll never forget, years and years ago, it has to be going back, like, ten years, I had called Comcast. Uh, Tina and I were in a fucking crunch with money, weren't doing that well at the time. Um... So I called him up and said, hey, you know, I need to lower my bill. I want to take off, you know, whatever pay channels I have. I basically want, I think I was getting, like, the the package just one step higher than basic cable. Okay. And uh, that's what I wanted to knock it down to. It was going to end up saving me, like, you know, 40 bucks a month or whatever. They kept me on the phone for 45 minutes trying to sell me more shit. Right. Like, oh, well, you know, you you could pay the same you're paying right now, but we'll add in HBO, we'll add in this. And I'm like, you don't understand. My programming isn't the issue. It's how much money I'm spending on it. I right. don't want more for the same amount I'm paying now. I want less for less fucking money than I'm paying now. Right. And they, oh, it took forever. Forever. It, it got to the point where I was like, you know what? Just cancel the whole fucking thing then. I don't want anything. I don't want a fucking cable. Nothing. Right. And then all of a sudden it was, oh, well, you know, let let me take care of what you need. And it's like, why do you got to let it get to that fucking point? If yeah. I tell you no, I don't want something, right. I'm an intelligent fucking person. I know when I don't want something. Leave it fucking alone and just, just give me what I fucking want. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I, that job started out good because the manager I was under was like, hey, you're doing great, so I'm not going to mess with Mess, mess with you, but man, once I once I got switched over to a fucking policy horror, it was like the worst job ever. Because it's like, God, I fucking hate that. Like every like, if I went up to take a piss, you'd be like, "Where are you going?" The fucking bathroom. You want me to piss on your fucking desk? Like I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck do you think I'm going, man? Oh God, man! It, I I really just don't like that stuff. Yeah, I I, I hate the feeling like somebody's got to sell me something nonstop. That's why I hate going into stores. It like honestly, if I ever fucking own a store, I will never go up to customers and try to sell them shit. Yeah. I will let them know a hundred percent that I'm there if they need me. Yeah, I'll help you with anything you want to help with, but I'm not gonna fucking try to like throw items down your goddamn throat. Right. Maybe that means I won't be successful at owning a store. I don't know. I don't care. But I just I I, I don't want to be that person. I yeah. hate those people. Yeah. 
A Ashley is really funny. My wife, when she, <laughs> when we're walking in the mall, you know those mall kiosks, they're always fucking trying to put shit on you, like fucking lotion. Oh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it's funny. Like, <laughs> we'll be walking in the mall, and <laughs> a lady will go up to Ashley and be like, ma'am, can I ask you a question? She'll go, no, and just keep fucking walking. <laughs> She fucking yells at them just for asking a question. <laughs> That's great. It is. Like, they're just doing their job, and I feel bad, but you know what? Fuck them. Like, get a better but job. Fuck them. Right. Like, and you know, you're right, because it's not their fault. It's totally not their fault. Yeah. Um, a prime example of this, uh, you know, with my job, we're really big into helping our community any way we can. Mm -hmm. uh, it's corporate wide. You know, we try to raise money for any charities we can and whatnot. But there's every every year, there's at least two or three people when we ask them, would you like to donate to help out, you know, the the, fam the needy families in the area or whatever we're raising money for. And they'll fucking sit there and start yelling and screaming at us like, why the hell do I have to be asked about raising money every time I come in here? It's like, you know, if you don't want to do it, just say no. You know, it, that's all. Say no and walk away. We, we get it. It bothers you. But it, this isn't my decision. This, this is part of my job. It's what I do. And not for nothing. I mean, it, it's a decent thing to do for the community. We're right. just trying to help people out. And right. I, that, that shit tends to annoy me. But, I mean, I, it's hard seeing it from both sides of my end because I have to be one of those guys every once in a while. But right. I can't fucking stand when people are asking me stuff. But in the same sense... I'm not usually a complete dick about it. I was like, oh, you know, no, thank you, and walk away. Well, here's the thing. With, like, those, like, like put your name on a shoe and donate a dollar and we'll hang it up or whatever, like, that's, like, such a soft push because it's like, here, you're checking out. Here's your stuff. Right. Do you, do you want to give a dollar and put your name on a shoe? It's like, all right, that's – and then it's like, no, I'm good or whatever. But it's not like, like you're going to a grocery store. And they're like, I'm not going to scan your fucking items until you give me a fucking dollar <laughs> and put your goddamn kids' names on these fucking shoes. Like, <laughs> You're not getting your apple pie to you fucking donate, bitch. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but when you call into cable, that's basically what it is. Like, you call in, hey, my, my cable's out. Did you want to try our internet? No. <laughs> You're not giving me any service now. Why the fuck would I want to take more? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put your cable back on until you buy a phone service from us. <laughs> God, man. It's so fucking sex. That's it, exactly what they do. I just yeah. I can't deal with it. Yeah, it's bad. Fucking pieces of shit. Yeah. All right, so I got another topic here that I, I was looking at that I read it, and it, it was one of those moments where I, I just I, I felt dirty as a human being. Okay. Uh, you know who who Phil Robertson is, right? The uh, guy from Duck Dynasty, the uh, the father on that show. Okay, <laughs> I've never seen the show. <laughs> I I know uh, they're bearded. Yeah, well, he he's the fucking he's one of the old beard guy. He's like the patriarch of the family. He's okay. like you know the the main guy or whatever. All right, so he's really fucking religious. Well, the whole family's religious, but he he's the one that goes around preaching and whatnot. Um. He he was in a little bit of controversy last year, the year before that, when he was uh, screaming about gay marriage and whatnot. So he's all over the place. Um, there's been a few times where I've kind of not really agreed with him, but didn't really take offense or think anything differently about the way he came across selling or preaching his views. This time around, though, I think he went a little too far. Okay. Uh, he was preaching down here in Florida about atheists and basically saying, you know, not mixed words. He was basically calling them idiots and saying that, well, if you don't fucking believe in God, you don't believe in anything, then you're a fucking moron. Okay. And God, you know, I'm just going to read this to you. It, it's going to take a second to read it. So just bear with me, but it, I, I don't even want to fucking mix, mix up what he said. Okay. So he says, I'll make a bet with you. Two guys break into an atheist's house. He has a little atheist wife and two little atheist daughters. Two guys break into his home and tie him up in a chair and gag him. And then they take his two daughters in front of him and rape both of them and shoot them. And then they take his wife and then decapitate her head off in front of him. And then they can look at him and say, Isn't it great that I don't have to worry about being judged? Isn't it great that there's nothing wrong with this? 
There's no right, no wrong. Now, is it, dude? So, th this is his idea of showing atheists that they're idiots for not believing in anything. That if two guys broke into their house and raped the little fucking kids and killed their wife in front of them and whatnot, that it's okay because you don't believe in God, so there's not absolutely nothing wrong with this. Like, who the fuck says that? That is fucked up. Isn't that fucked up? That like, really I, is. I, I read this and... I wasn't even going to bring it up because, uh, you know, I'm just, like, kind of flipping through articles and reading shit, and I was like, this is this is really fucking wrong. Right. Like, th there's there's no either side of the story. There, there's no, oh, he's looking at this from this point, and, you know, I get what he's saying. This is, like, the worst fucking example of why atheists are wrong for not believing in God I've ever heard in my life. Right, right. But, uh, first of all, I mean... Uh, I'm a atheist, but I don't like push that on my kids or my wife. So it's not like I have an atheist wife. And like, when you're atheist, basically you're saying, like, I don't believe that there's people living in the clouds. Like, right. there's not like there. There's no construction going on up there for gates. <laughs> like, <laughs> like there's no man and below the ground with pointy ears and fucking, uh, like, a fucking farm tool, like, telling you, like, hey, you're fucking mad. Like, <laughs> like, no, that stuff doesn't happen. Like, scientifically, that can't happen. Like, and I, and I understand you have faith and whatever, like, that's fine, but, like, if somebody came in and, like, like, murdered everybody in my home except for me, I'm not going to go, well, there's no God, so that's okay. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, no. Well, he, he's not really doing anything wrong. Right. No. Yeah, I mean, I would, like, that would push me into disbelieving in God more. Like, because what kind of a God lets that happen to somebody that, you know, is alive on this earth? Like, he's right. supposed to love all unconditionally, which is bullshit in itself. But, um, you know, it, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I'm I'm at a loss for words. Like that's just so disgusting. It is. It, like I said, it makes me feel fucking dirty as a human being. Like yeah. hearing someone say something like this. Right. It, it's. I mean, here he is talking about being a man of God and whatnot. And I get that. I respect that. But this is horrible. Right. There, there is no. There is nothing right about him saying this at all. Right. And like I said, you know. Last year, I, I I was on his side um, about you know him getting shit for talking about gay marriage and whatnot, and he, the it wasn't that I was on his side saying you know I'm against gay marriage as well, but I didn't see anything wrong with the way with the way he said it and his point of view on it because it's what he believed in and I was fine with that. Right. But this here, th this has just gone way too fucking far. Right. Like, I, I don't get that at all. And not for nothing, if, if Duck Dynasty wasn't fucking kicked off the air before, when there was all this controversy, I would assume it's got to be close to being kicked off the fucking air now, because this is this is fucked up. Nobody could read this? I, I fucking challenge anybody listening to this to read this and come back at me with some kind of a valid argument for this fucking case. Yeah. I mean, Christians should read this and be like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Exactly. That they should literally be like fucking distancing themselves big yeah. time from this, right? Right. Because that that's just it's disgusting, right? And yeah. is is this like a call to action? Is he saying uh, that hey Christians, it's okay to go into atheist house and rape their daughters and kill their wives? Right. And that's oh my because god. Because they don't it's, believe it's so in God, up. so it's okay to treat them like shit. Yeah, I just I, I really mm. and the fact that he says this at a fucking <laughs> event. It's not like, you know, it's not like it's a situation where somebody recorded him saying this while he was talking to a friend or, uh, like a fucking, uh, phone call or something. Right. Th this is him out in the fucking world at a goddamn event that he's speaking at, just basically saying this. I would have loved to have been in the room to hear everybody just fucking gasp all yeah. at one time when yeah. he says this shit. Let me tell you, like, I write, I write jokes, I write screenplays, and like, like this guy had to write it down and then read it and go, yeah, that's good. Like, that's definitely what I want to say. 
Like, that's fucked up. Like, I've written a joke and be like, oh, no, that's going too far. Like, I'm going to crumble this shit up, throw it out, like, just fucking burn it, because I don't want everybody to, anybody to know that that thought ever existed in my fucked up brain. <laughs> but this guy writes shit down and says, beautiful, perfect. Right. That's what I want to say behind my fucking disgusting beard. <laughs> When I was working on uh, our little segment, Almost Total Bullshit, which mm-hmm. we can hit next, um, I I was trying to come up with the, the two fake things, and I came up with a few of them. I was like, no, 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 that's too far. I, I, I can't. I don't even want people even somewhat thinking I did those things. I'm not putting that on there. Right. Like I, I was I'm almost embarrassed to put these fake things on there, and I couldn't do it. And here this asshole is speaking in front of, let's just say, a couple thousand people or whatever the hell it is. And he, he's spewing this shit out. And right. I don't know. Maybe he thought that disgusting beard of his would be a fucking filter. And, you know, it would come out sounding completely different. But <laughs> it, it ain't fucking working. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awful. Yeah. And you, you guys got to check out the rest of the article. I, I will post it on the, the Facebook page. Yep. But, I mean, he goes on later on talking about he, – he, he elaborates on this whole fucking story. And the, the next step is, you know, they, they take a knife out and put it to the guy's genitalia and they want to cut his dick off. I mean, it's it's crazy, like, how deep into this he gets. And right. I, I just – I can't imagine that this is going to go, you know, on uh, – I can't even fucking think anymore. This guy's got me so fucked up. Uh, I, I get a feeling that th- this may be what gets him kicked off to fucking TV. I can't imagine that anyone's going to want him on TV anymore after this. Does anybody still watch that show? Like, is that I, is is it still a thing? I don't know. I mean, I I don't hear about it much anymore. No. But all their products sell like crazy. Every yeah. fucking day I see somebody walk around like a Duck Dynasty shirt or right. a hat or something. I mean, somebody I work with has, like, all the Duck Dynasty ringtones on their phone and shit. I mean, so they're still out there. I mean, they're still relevant to, you know, people now, but I, I don't know for how much longer at this point. Right, right. I don't know. It's yeah, I don't know. Dirty. Uh, yeah. All right, well, let's get into some fucking fun stuff, because I, I feel all dirty now. All right. <laughs> You're going to feel even worse. Because <laughs> yeah, now you have to tell I us. Just, I was just thinking about it. <laughs> All right, let's get into almost total bullshit. What we've got this week, uh, Nick has to tell us a story, an embarrassing story from his past. Uh, you have to guess what it was. Um, and uh, let's see. The three things that we came up with, or he came up with, rather, is uh, number one, first time he had sex was while wearing a condom from a box he found on the side of the road while walking to school. Number two, he stuck his finger into a fish because <laughs> he caught, because his friend told him it would feel like a vagina. Number three, he refuses to ever own a bidet because he's afraid <laughs> he'll like the water hitting his asshole and will instantly question his own sexuality. So that's your options. One, two, and three. Um, we're going to collect uh, uh, our votes on Facebook and it, uh, you, got, you, know, you have to listen to find out. So we're not going to fucking tell you on Facebook defeats the purpose so all right what is the answer so well before we do that wh- which one do you think it is i'm saying it's number one it is number one sir you were nice correct. nice <laughs> <laughs> so i used to uh walk to high school every day because i got tired of taking the fucking bus and i, I just the the bus was annoying regardless what it was uh so i'm walking to school one day Going right down fucking Lanes Mill, and I see this bag, and there's a box inside of it, and for some reason, I go over and I gotta kick it. And as I kick it, out comes this fucking box of fucking condoms. I'm like, huh, what the fuck, what is, what is this shit? What's going on here? So I walk over to it, and I'm like, you know, I'm looking at it, I'm checking it out, I'm like staring around, you know, see if anybody's fucking looking at me and whatnot, so I pick them up, and you know... I see, you know, it, it looks pretty much all sealed up. It, it looks a little worse for wear because uh, it's obviously on the side of the fucking road, but it's all intact. It's all sealed. Right. So uh, I fucking, I stuck my backpack and I continue to school. I come home. I take them out of my fucking backpack one on. I'm checking them all out. And I pull them all out. They're all intact. There, there was a fucking receipt in the bag too. Like everything was there. Right. So we're all good to go. 
Now here here comes the uh the, the kicker to it. So the first time that I'm getting ready to you know, make with the loving and whatnot, mm-hmm. I uh <laughs> this is how it goes down. Uh we're fooling around and I keep saying, I was like, Wow, you know, I have these condoms, but you know, I think they're gonna expire soon. I'm just gonna have to like throw them out or something, you know. That's you know, I, I don't really want to use them right this second, but I'm just you know, it'd be a shame for them to go to waste and whatnot. That was my line. That was my line to get some fucking sex. That save the condom. condoms. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the condoms are gonna fucking expire. <laughs> <laughs> We're never gonna be able to use them, and these are the last condoms on earth. <laughs> you know, that was, it. <laughs> was your was your first sexual experience with like a, a stay at home mom? Like, <laughs> like drink the fucking milk before it expires. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, that's how little game I fucking had. Man. Right. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Meanwhile, not for nothing, but if this woman would just fucking looked at the expiration date in the condom, it would have been like for another ten years. Right. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh my god! But I, I always thought that was funny as shit. That I, first of all, I mean, I'm not saying that the fucking girl is stupid. She must have fucking wanted to have sex because nobody in their right mind is gonna fall for that shit. No. <laughs> I mean. We're, we're sitting there. I, I couldn't even just come out and be like, "Hey, you, you, you fucking, you want to do it? You want, you want to make a little love? What's going on?" Right. I have to literally pull out a condom. Be like, oh man, this is gonna expire soon. Like, who does that shit, man? <laughs> like, what kind of an asshole am I that I just can't come right out and be like, "Hey, let's let, let's do this." Right. I gotta fucking like stare at this condom with like a tear rolling down my fucking cheek and shit. <laughs> Oh my god. In the arms of the angels, <laughs> we're away from it. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh god. I, I felt like, ah. Uh, the best part was back then, I felt like that was the coolest thing in the world. And I was like, yeah. I talked her into having sex by lying to her and telling these condoms that were going to expire. Check me out. Right. Now I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking loser you are. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I don't even remember what I first, what I said my first time. I know it was at her house. And I think basically I had a condom in my pocket and I pulled it out and I fucking put it in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> no words. <laughs> That's the fucking international symbol for you're getting <laughs> right. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, man. Dude, I, I can't even. Oh my. You know what? I I realize now how much of a lazy piece of shit I was back then, too. and Probably still am. You know how many times I forgo having sex because I was too lazy to go to a store and get condoms? Wow. Yeah! That's bad. Dude, that's, that's fucking pathetic. Yeah. Like, that's bad, man. Like, what kind of a fucking guy, especially a guy in his early 20s, was like, nah, oh, God, I kind of want to get laid, but I don't feel like going to fucking CVS and getting fucking thing of condoms. Oh, no. Ah, eh, fuck it. Maybe next time. Wow. Like, it was horrible. Yeah. And then I, I, I was definitely an asshole because I would just, like, talk my ex into, like, picking him up. And she hated picking him up because she felt weird and, you know. It's got to be strange for a girl to go pick up condoms. It's got to be. Because you know I mean? she's picking up, like, 24, slamming it on the counter. I'm a fucking whore! <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> All these are going to be inside <laughs> me! <laughs> and that's what I would do. Like, I would totally fucking... <laughs> I was, oh my god, man, I'm thinking about what kind of an asshole I was. Like, I would try to fucking get her all sexed up and whatnot, and like really horny, and be like, oh, we don't have any condoms. Maybe you could pick up some, you know, on the way home tomorrow when you do so. (laughs) (laughs) When I was that age, I used to put together the most ridiculous, like, grocery list and, like, throw it on the (laughs) counter. Just to, like, kind of hide the condoms, you know? Right. Like, condoms, Vaseline, a can't. Can- cantaloupe. All right, we're good. <laughs> and she'd scan. Beep, beep, 
what the fuck? Like, <laughs> <laughs> She just leans over and be like, are you fucking the cantaloupe? <laughs> do you really need a condom to fuck the cantaloupe? <laughs> what I do when, when my wife wants me to pick up, like, uh, tampons for her, I'll, like, pick up tampons, and then I'll pick up, like, a case of beer. <laughs> just throw it on the counter, but, like, it's going to be a long fucking night. <laughs> Oh, it's fucking great, man. Ah, uh, god damn it. it. It's funny. I, uh, like, I don't understand why there's such a fucking a stigma on buying, like, condoms and shit now. I don't know. Like, and, you know, I really don't see, well, maybe just at my store, you know, where I work, every once in a while I'll ring somebody up who's buying condoms, and it's funny because... It's the only thing that they're buying. They they never come in. Nobody ever comes in and buys like three hundred dollars worth of groceries and there's a box of condoms in there somewhere. Right. Nobody. It's always one of those things where like you fucking run to the store like oh oh I'm fucking getting some tonight. I just I just need condoms. <laughs> Somebody give me condoms. Right. And you fucking get the hell out of there and whatnot. But uh, there's always that like weird moment where nobody wants to make eye contact. Not the person scanning them. Not the person buying them. Not the person putting them into a bag. Yep. Nobody wants to make eye contact. It, it's just like, why? Who gives a fuck? Right. I don't know. I mean, it's... I used to get embarrassed, too. Like I said, I, like I would just find whatever just to fucking make a pile of stuff. And, like, the condoms would be on the bottom. But, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I was embarrassed to buy them. I don't know why people now are embarrassed. Like, that's just... It's great that you're buying them. Like, you know, at least you're not fucking polluting the earth with another fucking idiot kid like <laughs> i don't get it i don't know i don't know i think the only time i've ever felt like even slightly embarrassed by buying condoms was one time i was in there buying them and i was pretty sure i was either by myself or maybe tina was off in the other fucking uh aisle or whatever so i'm, I'm over there and i'm like going through them whatnot and somebody walks past me and in my hand, you know, I've got a couple different ones. I'm just like checking them out, see which one I want to get and shit reading, you know, one's ribbed, one's this one, one's that, you know, different fucking styles and shit. Right. And when the person walked past, I was putting them basically back on there. So the only one I had left in my hand was, uh, something for stamina. Okay. And I was like, well, oh, fuck man, that's kind of embarrassing. This person just saw me holding this fucking box of condoms. That's for stamina. And now it looks like that. I can't go more than fucking couple seconds. I mean, this is, that, that was like the only time I felt kind of embarrassed. But at that point I was like, why ain't fucking them? So what the hell do I care? Right. And I, I don't know. Just something about that shit. But you know, not for nothing. Why wouldn't you want like a stamina one? It, it, you give me anything. I don't care if I last fucking an hour in bed before I shoot my fucking load all over the place. If you tell me I can last an hour and a half, I'm like, fuck it. I want that over there. I want to last an hour and a half. I want to last longer. Right. Who right. the fuck wouldn't want to last longer? Well, that's what all these fucking TV commercials are about now. Like, now, like, we, we don't care. So we're we're going to fucking put it on TV. Like, like, that's, like, the pinnacle of, like, not caring. Like, let's fucking put a commercial on TV. We know that all the guys want to last longer. Like, uh, there are men out there that will literally fucking numb their dicks to last longer. <laughs> Which is fucking ridiculous. Like, <laughs> it's insane. I, I don't know. I mean, my sexual prowess is well documented on this show. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I still would not buy one of those products. Dude, I, I can't... I, I can't get into... Any kind of like, like fucking sex toy or a sex enhancer or whatnot. Yeah. Because Tina and I laugh too fucking hard at this shit. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> we tried this one thing. She's probably gonna fucking kill me for even bringing this up. I don't even care. We tried this one thing where it was like basically like a cock ring kind of thing, mm -hmm. but it had like this little little vibrating thing on top of it, so it basically made your whole fucking dick vibrate like crazy. <laughs> nice. Right. So. I, I put this thing on, and I'm like, this is this is so fucking stupid. Because you know what it looked like? It looked like my dick had, like, one of those little, like, mine shaft helmet with the flashlights on it. <laughs> like, it was so fucking stupid. Nice. So I'm like, whatever. So, I put this thing on, and, you know, we're getting ready. I'm like, all right. 
let's do this shit, and I fucking, I hit the little on button, and, like, this thing shattered my fucking teeth. Like, I was, <laughs> like, my whole fucking body was vibrating like a bitch, right? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so we get into it, and we're going and whatnot, I'm like, all right. Now, I, I'm basically fucking faking it at this point, because I can't feel anything. Right. The only thing I feel is fucking vibration, which ain't doing shit for me. Right. And I'm like, I'm looking at her, right? And I'm like, thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, she must really like this. Her eyes are all closed. You know, she looks, she's, she seems fucking into it. And then she like, bursts out fucking laughing. Like, she can't stop fucking laughing. It was like, it was miserable because it was like, this is so fucking stupid. Right. <laughs> I was like, I can't feel anything. You're fucking laughing. These things are pointless. I, I was so fucking mad. Like, I, I just, I can't get into anything like that. We've even tried, like the uh oh god there was these gels or something like that where you, you put it was one for the guy one for the girl you put one on you and one on them and it's like one's cold one's hot and you know together they're supposed to be like amazing and whatnot right. it was fucking bullshit first of all it's a bitch to clean off yeah Secondly, it took like fucking 20 minutes just to apply this shit and by then it's like do I do you even really want to do this anymore Right. Let's just let's just call it a night and watch TV. <laughs> now my balls are all slick. Like I can't fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no, we. I can't like the KY stuff. Like it's just like like you said, it's forever to like yeah. take it off. Like seriously, like I'm going through like rolls of toilet paper to like take this shit off. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. And you have to do it with toilet paper, too. You can't use a regular, like, fucking cloth towel because then, like, you'll forget about it and you go to do the laundry and you, like, go to fucking undo it and it's all stuck together uh, and it's, like, yeah. crackly and it's just fucking that. disgusting. Like, you no. just want to throw it out. You don't want anything to do with that shit. Uh, no. So, yeah, you're right. You go through, like, a fucking roll of toilet paper. So now you're, you're wasting fucking toilet paper. So now when you have to go fucking take your morning dump, you got no fucking toilet paper because it's all stuck to your fucking balls and dick and whatnot. It, it's just, it's not worth it. I've done that before. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've used, like, the rest of the toilet paper and not, because I have to go down two flights of stairs, back up two flights of stairs to get toilet paper. I'm like, ah, fuck it. And then I get up in the morning and I have the most hellacious dump ever. <laughs> my wife is already downstairs. I charge my phone downstairs, so I'm just fucking stuck. Like, I'm like, Help! <laughs> And finally, after like a half an hour, she comes upstairs. She's like, "What?" I'm like, "I have no toilet paper." <laughs> like, we fucked last night. That was the end of it. <laughs> like, I'm not wiping my ass with tissues because that's just for like homeless people. Like, <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> wiping your ass with tissues is a futile. It, you just it just doesn't accomplish anything. Uh, sir, not only does it not accomplish anything, even by chance, you do remove the shit, you'll be picking, like, little fucking tissue lint out of your crack for fucking days. Right, yeah. Like, the shit never ends, yeah. and it, it never goes away, and no matter how many showers you take, it almost seems like it just fucking multiplies, because it's always fucking there. Right, and then, like, if especially if you use, like, the aloe tissue paper, like, it just feels like you've got stuff in your crack all day. <laughs> always. Like... All fucking day. <laughs> it's gross. Yes. Oh, by the way, for the fucking record, I really want a bidet. You do? Like, I, I just, yeah, I fucking want a bidet so bad. Like, I was thinking about it when I was typing that up and whatnot, and I was like, dude, I would love to have a bidet. And just fucking sit there and let the fucking, you know, water rush my asshole and my balls and shit. Yeah. Oh, it'd be fucking awesome. I don't know how I feel about a bidet. I want a bidet. Yeah, I don't know if I could do that. Yeah. Really? Not, not even a little bit? I don't think so. All right, this is what you do not tonight me. when you when you go into the fucking bathroom and you go to take a shower and whatnot. Put put your fucking your little shower head on like you know the the whole massage thing yeah. and then bend over, spread your fucking cheeks apart and let that shit hit your asshole for a little bit. Tomorrow you'll come back and be like, oh, I want a fucking bidet now. It's amazing. Not that I've done this. <laughs> right, sure, sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, I just. I don't know. I need the feeling of like, like paper against scrotum, an asshole. Like I just need that feeling. Like I need to know it's done. Like I can't have 
water shooting up there, just thinking everything's okay. Like I need to, like I need to know. Like, <laughs> so wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I'm a little confused. Mm-hmm. So you you don't use toilet paper at all when you use a bidet? I was under the impression that you th- like maybe just to like tidy up or like get rid of the wetness, but that's it. Well, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. I mean, I, I still want a bidet, but now I'm feeling like I want it more for recreational purposes. <laughs> right. I still, I still want it. <laughs> I fucking buy a bidet. I'll leave my bathroom for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your wife like like running around your place, like looking for you for like an hour and a half. <laughs> and you're in the bathroom running up the water bill, like squirting yourself in the ass, like <laughs> jerking it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no coming back from that. Your wife walks in, you're on a fucking bidet, taking in the ass from water, you're jerking it. I mean, there's no coming back. No. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I gotta imagine, like, she just immediately leaves the house and goes to a fucking divorce lawyer. <laughs> that's, that's just it. <laughs> I caught him fucking our toilet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And he was the fucking receiver. He wasn't even the one giving. <laughs> He's a fucking toilet bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. All right, so you, you want to close this up and start screaming at people leave review? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been an American Fat Ass Podcast. Leave us a review. I'm, I'm not even going to be funny about it anymore. Just leave us a goddamn review. If you post it to our Facebook page or our Twitter, we'll read it during the show. That's it. Please. For the love of God. Yes, please. For the love of God. Which we don't believe in. I need this in my life. Yeah. But it's okay. Because if there is no God, I can rape your family. And it'll be alright. And cut your wife's head off, apparently. (laughs) Too far. (laughs) (laughs) all right leave us a review wherever you listen to us post it to facebook and we'll read it that's it we're out